Let's look at the next example. I'm trying to estimate uh, the percentage of people who actually ate dinner mostly after 8 p.m., right? That's not good, right? Almost uh, too close to your sleep time, right? I used to do that, and I tried to change that, right? So I've been doing better now, okay? But anyway, you want to estimate that, right? What percent of people who actually behave that way, okay? So you survey 300 subjects from the city, and 170 of them responded that they had their dinner after 8 p.m., right? Probably big city, often people do that, right? So I want to construct a 95% confidence interval estimate for that. And how do you do that? Well, this is a confidence interval estimate for proportion, right? So you should use a formula that is for confidence interval estimate for proportion. That is actually a formula you use z score, okay? That's a formula. Right? You can look up our notes, right? So what is the p hat then? p hat here is. 170 out of the 300, right? Okay. What would be the z-score for this problem? Again, it's 95%. You don't have to look up a table. After a few problems, you probably have that memorized. That's 1.96. Okay. Okay. So what you need to do then is just plus. Let me, let me make this. Uh, this number is actually, let me see. Do I have a fraction? Okay. This is five, 0.5667. So 56.67%, right? So what I can do is just plug in this formula, 0.5667 plus or minus e equal 1.96 times square root of 0.5667, 1 minus 0.5667, divide by 300. So this number is uh, 0 0.0561, right? So I will have 0.5667 plus 0.0561. Or if you convert it to percentage, 56.67% plus or minus 5.61%. That will be your answer, right? Or you can convert it to actually interval notation. That is 51.06% to 62.27% if you want. Okay. So that's how you do this problem. It's, not, it's really not hard, okay? Uh, today I mentioned those concepts, how you construct these, de develop this or construct these interval, right? But when you actually try to apply it, it's very simple, right? I think the most important part, difficult part probably is finding these z score or determining which formula you use, though, okay? Okay? And the next one. Again, sample size issue, right? If I want to do this estimate with margin error of 5%, and I have no prior knowledge about proportion, for instance, right? if that's the case, what should I do? No prior knowledge, that's fine. If I know my z-score margin of error, I square that, time 0.25, I will be able to get it, right? So z-score for 95% is 1.96. Margin of error I want is 5%, 0.05. Square that times 0.25, I will get the sample size. So that is 384.16. If I raise it up, all right, I'm going to run it to the next whole number. So 385. If I have this many subjects, I'll be able to achieve my goal, internal modular error. Okay? Now, if I do have some prior knowledge about proportion like this next problem, then... I will just use the second version of the formula. Z score margin of error, square that, time p hat, 1 minus p hat, right? You know what p hat is, right? p hat here is what is given 60%, right? Prior knowledge, right? So 1.96 divided by 0 0.05, the, the z score divided by margin of error, and 0.6. 1 minus 0.6, and you multiply this out, you get uh, 368.9 raised to 369. So with the prior knowledge, right, proportion 60%, I actually save a little bit. 
from 385, I can reduce to sample size 369, right? So it's around like it might be almost 20 counts, okay? Any question? Okay. <laughs>